Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, June 16th, and it's Father's Day here in the U.S., so a happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. Hope you're all having a good day. Uh, got a tie that you didn't want, and then we're sent out to mow the lawn. That's Father's Day seems to typically entail. <laughs> Um, happy Father's Day to my own dad, uh, who yesterday celebrated a birthday, and it was a big one. My dad turned 75 years old yesterday, and I don't think anyone's told him that he's 75, because he has not slowed down a bit. Uh, he, it's, it's amazing, he, he's still going strong, you know, he's got, got some health issues, but we all do, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing that's really prevented him from doing what he wants to do, so God bless him. Uh, he continues to be an inspiration to me, and I hope that uh, he continues to be happy and healthy for, for many years to come. Um, he doesn't watch this, uh, doesn't, doesn't even know that I have a YouTube channel just because it, it complicates life to have friends and family, but um, I, I, I just wish him all the best. So today, smoking a Marksman Jumbo, which you've seen many times before. And I am smoking walnut, and the walnut has gone out on me. So I will tamp and relight. Got a lot to talk about today. Now, if you don't watch my Friday rambles, and you've never met me in person, you may not know that uh, I actually wear glasses, or wore glasses. Uh, told you about the impending uh, cataract surgery last week. Cataract surgery occurred on Monday. It went perfectly. It was amazing. I, I didn't know what to expect, and I got to tell you, this this was just remarkable. Um, uh, it the entire surgery lasted about ten minutes. I was awake for the whole thing, although it was it was twilight anesthesia, so. I didn't really know what was going on. It was kind of weird because they keep your eye open the whole time, obviously. And, uh, you know, I'm there talking to the doctor and stuff, and the anesthesiologist says, okay, I'm going to start your cocktail now. And, I, and within seconds, I just was watching the pretty lights, and that was it. I didn't feel anything. I didn't know anything was going on. Um, they finished the procedure, stopped the anesthesia, and as much time as it took me to sit up, and they had me sit up and then get into a wheelchair. I was fully awake, fully aware, and had no pain. Uh, felt a little bit like if, if you've, I'm sure you've had an eyelash in your in your eye. Not that feeling, but like after you take it out, sometimes it's a little irritated. I occasionally felt that for a couple of days, but I got home. I I tried to see in the mirror like evidence of what they had done. Couldn't see anything. Sorry, sorry about the dog barking there. Sorry about that, the dogs had to go potty. Um, so I think I was talking about the procedure and the fact that when I got home, I, I could not see any evidence that they had touched my eye. It's remarkable. But what I could see is I could see extremely clearly out of my right eye. Um, remarkably clear, remarkably bright. It's, it's really amazing. So overnight, I went from having one good eye, my left eye, and one bad eye, my right eye, when I wore glasses, to having one good eye, my right eye, and one bad eye, my left eye, without wearing glasses. And it's the, the change is so great that I can actually drive now and, and really function without wearing glasses for the first time since I was in first grade. Uh, I've never driven without glasses. This is the first time I've ever done that. Uh, it's really remarkable. The one problem, though, is that I can't focus close up. Now, I couldn't do that before, so it's, it's fine. Uh, you know, I wore prescription reading glasses, and I had prescription computer glasses and all. But all I needed to do was to get these um, very cheap. Uh, they're made by Foster Grant, and they're called multifocal reading glasses. And there you are, remarkable. So I can see the... I couldn't see the screen quite as clearly as I can right now uh, as I'm talking to you. These, um, they have three different focal areas in them. At the bottom is uh, reading, and you can, you know, figure out what your reading strength is. And then the middle is at a, a, a lesser magnification that allows you to look further out, and you use that for the computer screen. 
And then at the top, there's little to no magnification, and that's for like looking across the room. And everything else is covered by the, uh, the lens implant. So I'm pretty darn happy. Um, these, these work really well. I can see the computer screen better than I could before the procedure. Um, these actually work better than uh, the prescription readers that I had before the procedure. So I'm just super happy about, about this. Now the left eye, uh, it also has a cataract, but it's not big enough yet to justify the surgery, so we're going to track that, and ultimately the procedure will be done on the left eye as well, and then I'll, I'll be great. So I went from 2200 in my right eye to the last time they looked at it was just the day after the procedure. It was 2025, and the doctor said it will improve over the coming weeks, and it has been. Um, really remarkable. Um, I'm... If if you ever find yourself in a situation where you need cataract surgery, don't worry about it. It's really amazing how routine the surgery is, how easy well, they make them look easy, and how minimal the recovery is. Uh, of course, you know people have different experiences, I'm sure, but everyone that I talked to said the same thing that I said, which is, uh, you know, it's been great, and it was just nothing. It was a breeze to go through the procedure. So. Worked out great. I want to thank everybody out there that offered up uh, kind thoughts and prayers for me. Uh, it really helps, and uh, I'm sure that that played a big role in how simple and successful the whole thing was. Um, what else do I have to talk about today? Oh, the other thing that I had to buy, which <laughs> I never, never really paid much attention to, is sunglasses. So I have. These sunglasses that are, they're fit-over glasses that would go over my, my eyeglasses. And I bought those primarily for fishing because the polarized lens cuts the glare coming off the water. They also wrap around so it prevents you from popping a fly in your eye, which I have never come close to doing, but, you know, it's not something I want to do, obviously. But the problem with these is when I'm not wearing glasses, They've got nothing to fit over and they just fall down and they're very uncomfortable. So I went out and bought a pair of uh, glass, sunglasses last night and it's great. I, I Then the reason I had to buy them was that everything's so bright in this right eye that the sun was hurting a lot more on that side than it ever hurt on the other side. And God knows, there's probably been all kinds of UV damage and everything. So yeah, I guess, I guess you're supposed to wear sunglasses in the sun and... I'm finally, at the age of 53, getting around to doing it. <laughs> so that that was it's been a it's been an interesting week. Now the other thing I wanted to tell you about is um, I got another uh, kind gift from a, a fellow YouTube presenter, and you know I. I, I, I really appreciate when, when people reach out to me with, with something like this and, you know, it's very kind and all. I certainly don't expect it and that's probably the, the neatest thing about it is you, you just never expect somebody to do something like this. And yet it happens and, and it just shows you what, you know, fine people we, we are uh, as, as a group. I'm sorry to include myself in the fine people, but you know, there's a lot of really good people in this community. And uh, it's one of the reasons why I keep doing these videos every week. Not to get things, but, but to, to be a part of the, this kind and, and, and generous community. And I hope that I can, in my own small way, uh, repay that kindness. And, you know, I try to whenever possible. So the gift that I got this week came from uh, my friend Travis, who, uh, you know, I'm going to get his YouTube name wrong because I always do. I think he's Bearded Tamper but he might be Beard and Tamper. I think it's Bearded Tamper. Sorry, Travis, I, I forget that all the time. I will put a link to Travis's channel below with his correct YouTube handle, uh, but he is a good guy, and if you have not seen his videos, get over there, subscribe to him. Uh, he's he's an important part of this community now. He's, he's been making videos for a few months, I guess, but they're they're great, and I, and I, I really just love his, his his kind, relaxed style. He, he he's one of these guys that you just want to sit down and have a pipe with, and I value that greatly. I mean, that's what drew me in. Sorry, 
apparently I've got something to do. <laughs> That's what drew me into YouTube in the, in the first place, you know, it's just seeing these guys talking about their life, enjoying a pipe, and, and, you know, I could enjoy a pipe with them. And Travis is one of those people that I really like to enjoy a pipe with. He also, as you might guess from the name Bearded Tamper, uh, makes tampers, and he makes some beautiful tampers, and he was kind enough to make one for me and send it to me. And i got to tell you, this is just one of the... It, it is the most beautiful tamper that I currently own, and I own a lot of tampers, uh, and I've gotten a lot of handmade ones from friends that I greatly appreciate, but this one just... It, it blew me away when I opened this. So, what Travis has done here is he's taken a, a piece of deer antler, and he's really done a beautiful job of finishing that and putting a nice gloss on it. But then he's attached to that three different types of wood. So starting at the bottom here, it's white oak, walnut, and then at the very top, Osage orange. And Osage orange is a very, very tough, dense wood, so it's perfect wood to have at the end of a tamper. This thing is, it's beautiful. It's very functional. It fits perfectly in your hand. You can you can easily get in there, and I haven't used it yet I, because it's just so pretty. I will, but uh, I, I love this tamper. So thank you, Travis. Travis, go, go see him. Go go visit his channel. Um, he he's a good man, and he does beautiful work. So it's well worth your time. So thank you again, my friend. So beyond that, I uh, haven't been allowed to do any shop work because my wife is being appropriately protective. It turns out my eye doctor has confirmed all of her suspicions about what I can and can't do. So, um, I was told that I can start working down here again next week if I wear safety goggles, which I normally do, but I had to get some new safety goggles because the ones I got are also fit overs. And, um, you know, I normally do, but she wants me to wear them when I'm cleaning and stuff, and that, that makes sense because I'm generating a lot of dust. Uh, but I'm making really good progress. You know, I had to stop before the surgery and, and uh, haven't been able to do anything since, but it's really starting to 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 clear up a lot of things, to uh, sort through a lot of things, throw away a lot. And I'm, I'm trying to clear out that far wall so that I can paint it and I can build some new benches over there and that's actually where all the pipe work is going to be done so ultimately you're going to wind up turning around about uh, I don't know 280 degrees maybe and moving in that direction and I will be over in that corner um, and I'll try to make it nice with some interesting stuff in the background because I know a lot of you guys like the pegboard back here I hate the pegboard <laughs> it's convenient but I really don't like pegboards so I'm looking forward to tearing that down and uh, my friend Christian recommended I take a high-quality photo of it so I can use it as a background in case you guys get too <laughs> too depressed when I make the switch. So I'll try to do that. Anyway, friends, I let me relight my pipe here. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to say. If you uh, if you're familiar with Artie, uh, art from, uh, I think his channel is called Artie's Place. Art's a good guy. He, uh, last Friday did a Friday Roadway Ramble style video, which I loved. Um, I, I just think those videos are great because it just opens you up. You, you can't pay attention to the camera, so you just say whatever comes to mind. And, you know, you're really, when I make those videos, you're getting me unfiltered, whatever's on my mind at that time. And, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy making them. So Art made one uh, similar style, and it was great. And you know, it was just nice to enjoy the ride with him from from his workplace back home. Uh, I think he actually did it on a Saturday morning. But anyway, it was it was a, a great video. So the, Art was doing some really nice live streams, and I I was enjoying them occasionally. I mean, I don't have a lot of time to 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 follow live streams, but. He has a little shed in his backyard that he that he set up, and he he does a live stream from there. And it it's I've enjoyed them. The interactions have been quite nice. Unfortunately, YouTube apparently changed their policy, and you can't live stream unless you have a thousand subs uh, or something like that. Anyway, if you're not subscribed to Art, go sub him. Just do it because I want to get him back to the point where he can do live streams. Um, you'll you'll appreciate it. it. He's he's worth it. He does. Uh, uh, I forget.
forget what he calls it, the, the Friday Five, uh, little inspirational things. Uh, oh, no, it's daily. It's daily. And they're little inspirational tidbits that it, it, it takes a few minutes to watch, and they're really good quality things. So go, as soon as I end this video, go down below, subscribe to Bearded Tamper, subscribe to Art, and uh, I appreciate you doing that, and they'll appreciate you doing that, and you'll have the benefit of seeing some fine quality videos from both those gentlemen. All right, guys, going to wrap it up now. Once again, happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. Hope you're having a good one. I uh, want everyone out there to take care of themselves and to the people close to them, and until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.